This video was going to cover Newton's method. So Newton's method for approximating the zeros of a function, basically the x-intercepts of a function, is to follow these three steps. Make an initial estimate denoted by x1 that is close to the zero. Usually we use a graph for that. Um, determine a new approximation x2 using this formula, x1 minus f of x1 divided by f prime of x1, and repeat. And so then your third estimate will be used from x2, and your, x, your uh, fourth estimate will be using x3, so on and so forth. And you keep going until the distance between one estimate and the previous estimate is within a desired accuracy, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and apply that to um, this problem here. So it says, use the Newton's method to approximate the points of intersection of the two functions continue until accuracy is within less than 0.001 units. Okay, and then it says round your answer to three decimal places. Well, if I need to get it within 0.00 units, that means that I need to keep doing the iterations until this fourth digit is exactly the same as the previous one, okay? Because if that fourth digit is the same as the previous uh, estimate, then I can round it and I will have a three decimal placed answer, okay? So what we're gonna do here is remember the Newton's method only applies to what are called zeros of a function. Since I wanna know where they intersect, I'm basically asking you when f of x equals g of x. If you want to know um, the zeros of this, you would basically do f of x minus g of x equal to zero. And the solutions to this equation would be considered zeros. But those solutions would also be solutions to this equation, therefore giving me my intercepts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply Newton's method to this equation here. Um, and I'm going to um, try to find the zeros of this function here, okay? So now I do notice that there are two of them, and I kind of have an idea of what they're close to based on the graph, but I just don't know exactly what they are, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just split this up into two pieces, like say the left and then the right. So the zero or the intersection on the left looks like it's pretty close to negative two, okay? And it may even be, if I wanna get even more accurate, it may be pretty close to um, maybe negative 2.5, right? Just to get it, because it's a little bit close to negative 2.5, closer than it is to negative two. So what that means is if I wanna find x2, my second um, estimate, I will have to do 2.5 minus f of negative 2.5 over f prime of negative 2.5, okay? And f being my function up here. So instead of using f, I think I wanna use a different letter like h. So h of x is going to be this function here. So when I'm talking about this, I'm finding the zeros of this, which means this needs to be an H, okay? Now in order for me to do this, I am gonna need to know what H prime is. So the derivative of seven is zero, derivative of X squared is two X, the derivative of E to the X over two is E to the X over two times the derivative of the exponent, which is this. So I get negative two X minus one half E x over 2 okay so in my calculator I'm going to program my guess or my x values minus f not f but h h of x over h prime of x and then I will start using all of my guesses to keep going okay so let's program that in my calculator real quick we're gonna have x minus, and in my numerator, I'm going to have the original function, h, 
which is seven minus x squared minus e raised to the x over two. Get down, close that parentheses, then divide it by open parentheses, and then I'm gonna do h prime. Negative two x minus one half e raised to the x over two, get down and close that parentheses for the denominator. Now I'm gonna ignore the first value because I don't remember what was stored in for x last. But I am going to plug in negative 2.5. So negative 2.5 store is x. And if I plug it in here, it's basically gonna calculate this for me. So I'm gonna hit enter and I get negative 2.59543324. So then that is going to be my third guess. Oops. So it's going to be this number minus h of that number over a prime of that number. Okay. Now if you notice, these two things are not the same for the fourth digit. They're the same on the first digit, but this is a zero, zero, zero. They're not even the same within the second digit after the decimal. So I could not stop here because that distance is not less than 0 0.001 accuracy. So let's go ahead and leave that number in there exactly as it is and just hit store. So it does that answer stored as X and hit enter. Then you're gonna go back up to your programmed function, copy it and then hit enter. We get negative 2.59 three, five, six, seven, seven, nine, four. So now we are the same in the first digit, we are the same in the second digit, but we are not the same in the third digit. So we do have to do it again. Remember, they have to be the same, and we have to keep doing it until it's all the same until the fourth digit after the decimal. So let's go ahead and find x4. That means I'm gonna take this number and do h of that, oops, it's five, nine, three. Over h prime of that number. Okay, so again, I'm gonna hit just store as x, so it takes that whole number and stores it as x. Then I'm gonna plug it into that programmed function and I get negative 2.59356782. Well notice now, the first digit is the same after the decimal, second digit is the same, third digit is the same, and the fourth digit is, is um, done. So I can stop here. And if I round this to the fourth decimal place, or I'm sorry, to three decimal places, this five will cause this to go up. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is going to be my answer for the left intersection point, okay? So that's the X value of the left intersection, okay? Now, I need to also find the second one, which is on the right-hand side. So we're gonna repeat this whole thing, but with information about the right-hand side. So what is my guess? Well, my guess would be something about two, right? One, two? So maybe we should just guess with two. It looks pretty close to two. It's not close to three and it's not even in the middle there. So we'll start with two. Then if I wanna find x2, I have to do two minus h2 over h prime of two. Remember, you already have this um, programmed in your calculator. So I just have to do two store x and then plug it into that programmed function. 
So I get 2.05256786. These are not the same, right? They're not even the same within the second digit. So we got to keep going. We're going to find X3, which means 2.05256786. Minus h of 2.0525 over h prime of 2.0525. So let's see, leave that in the calculator, store it as x, then go plug it into the function, and we get 2.0518931888. So the second digits are the same, the third digits are still off. So we've got to do another iteration. So what do we get when we do store x and then we plug it in? We get 2.0518930077. So now they are the same second digit, third digit, and fourth digit. They're actually the same on the fifth and the sixth digits as well. But we just need them to have it all the same to the fourth digit after the decimal. So we can stop. And that second value, if we round it to three decimal places, the eight will change the one. So you get 2.052 as your second um, value there. And that is all they asked us to find, so we are done with this particular problem.